I'm here at the Soldier Hall where President Conway Turner is hosting the annual forums where both students and faculty can ask questions regarding the school. Today, March 20th, marks the first official day of spring, but it seems like the winter season still isn't ready to let go. Everybody makes mistakes, but some cost me more than others. Four Buffalo State students are now in hot water with financial aid. I'm here at the construction site for the Buffalo State Math and Science Complex building. While the school is looking to expand the building, others may call it a real big inconvenience. Recently, Erie County Executive Mark Polencar has voiced his support for a bill that would put a ban on all plastic shopping bags statewide. It's that time of the year again where numerous NFL teams are reloading their rosters for the upcoming season. In a draft filled with tremendous quarterback potential, the Cleveland Browns selected quarterback Baker Mayfield from the University of Oklahoma with their first overall pick. I think Cleveland with Baker Mayfield makes a lot of sense because with the way their roster is shaped, they have guys that are terrific inside the numbers where he can throw slant throws all game long and they're going to be effective. And Baker has an ability to throw deep as well. I mean, it's not his forte, but I think he can get the job done because he's that skilled. Meanwhile, the hometown Buffalo Bills were extremely active, trading up to secure the 7th and 16th pick in the first round, selecting quarterback Josh Allen from Wyoming and Virginia Tech linebacker Tremaine Edmonds. Trading up to get a quarterback within the top 10 was pretty good. Probably should have picked Josh Rosen. He was a better prospect overall than Josh Allen. Other than that, training up to get Edmonds was pretty good. He's the best linebacker in the draft, I feel. So, pretty good move, I'd say. Overall, many of the teams had a great draft, but some may have fumbled with their picks. I think I'm going to have to start with the biggest loser of the draft, and I, I think that's the Oakland Raiders. I I sort of wonder what Gruden and, and the front office is, is really going for, at least in terms of direction. They traded down. I... A couple of their selections were rather questionable, and I also think the Giants are a bit of a loser too, because a running back that high is now becoming rarer in the draft because of the the higher importance of the quarterback position. For many teams, this year's NFL draft marks a brand new beginning and hopefully some new improvements. For the Buffalo Review TV, I'm Jay Delgado. The Buffalo State Music Department once again opened its doors to the public. As part of the Faculty and Friends concert series, members of the Erie County Chamberwinds, composed of both professional players and Buffalo State Music Department faculty members, came together for a concert. Dr. Rick Fleming is the head conductor, while many others in the group specialize in brass and woodwind instruments. The Erie County Chamberwinds is a uh, group of professional wind players that I organized um, about oh, 17 years ago now. Dr. Fleming says the group is very crucial since there's not many like them in Erie County. Um, I've got great colleagues, thank you, um, who, are, who enjoy playing. I mean, they play in DPO, they play in area orchestras here in town, but they also enjoy this. And this, is not, this group is unique because there's, there aren't any in the area. Dr. Fleming also elaborated on why the art of music is so important to Buffalo State. You know, I, I see colleges as beacons of, of, uh, beacons of art. And so I think it's, it's encumbered on us, being in the art and humanities department, to divide the community and, and, and the uh, campus community um, with art. A member of the Erie County Chamberwinds also expressed her joy at performing at the Lewis P. Simonelli Recital Hall. This space is pretty spectacular. It has a, I don't know if you guys know this, but it has what's called an artificial acoustic environment. So when we play on stage, they actually process our sound through microphones that you can see embedded up in the ceiling. To learn more about the free concerts coming to Buffalo State College, visit Rockwell Hall and pick up one of these flyers from the Youth Department. For the Buffalo Review TV, I'm Jay Delgado.